Hey, my name is Zeus Tapato, a writer for Healing Maps, and is your stomach connected to psychedelics? So this is going to be a wild thing for me to say, but maybe a psychedelic trip doesn't originate in the brain. What if we had it all wrong and the trip actually starts in the gut? Serotonin, the neuromodulator of nearly all psychedelics, has 14, maybe more, neuroreceptors, which is twice the amount of any other neuromodulator system. Most of these receptors are located not in the brain, but in the gut. The numbers are nuts. An estimated 95% of 5-HT, which is the serotonin group of receptors, are in your gut. Only 5% are located in your brain, yet nearly the entirety of psychedelic science is focused on the brain. The future of scientific inquiry into psychedelics will need to include research into the brain-gut connection. It would be silly for us to ignore this blatantly obvious neurobiological link. For example, psychedelics increases cortisol levels in the stomach, a clear indicator that it's modulating the stomach's microbiome. Psychedelics also has immunomodulatory properties, which means it affects the immune system, most likely through the gut biome. In a 2018 study, rats without a gut microbiome Yes, you can do that. Receive transplants of fully intact gut microbiomes from other rats that were depressed. And guess what happened? The rats that received the transplants immediately developed depressive symptoms. I don't know what a depressed rat looks like, but it probably involves lots of watching The Bachelorette at 2 a.m. At least that's what I do, but I'm not a depressive rat, so I'm just, I'm just a dude that watches Bachelorette. The gut playing a role in psychedelics? I know, it's, it's a wild idea, absolutely. But the evolution of science is a roller coaster of knowing something is correct until a better, more correct theory presents itself. Also, props to Kim Coopers at Mishraik University for proposing this revolutionary idea and pushing a non-neurologically focused perspective on psychedelic research. There's some good psychedelic research going down in Holland, and particularly Mishraik University. And I'm beyond thrilled to be a part of it. I, I wake up every day and I can't believe that I'm doing any of this stuff, but yet here I am and it's awesome.